Hey guys! Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute chalkboard using a picture frame. And I use mine as like a little reminder board. I have a test on May 30th, so it's up there reminding me that I need to study. And it's really easy and so much fun to make. So let's get into the things that I used to make this. So first thing is a picture frame, and I wanted a circular one, so I chose this one, but any shape or size will do. Then I picked this really light mint chalkboard paint. I thought it was so pretty, so I had to use this color. And then I have just two paint brushes. I actually found that the sponge worked better. And then I have just some pearls that I'm going to be putting on the chalkboard, and these were really cheap at Michael's. And then just the E6000 glue, but any like really strong glue will do. And of course, you're gonna need chalk to write on the new chalkboard. So I'm starting off with my picture frame, and I'm just going to take all of that junk that's inside out. And I'm gonna keep some of the stuff, but I'm just gonna throw up that one piece of paper. And I'm taking my glass out and just gonna wipe it clean because I don't want my chalkboard paint to go on like bumpy or anything. So here I'm just making sure that it's super clean and that the surface is smooth. Then I'm grabbing some newspaper and putting some of the paint on this paper plate. And I'm using my sponge and I'm just gonna apply one, well the first coat to the glass. And this isn't gonna go on even so don't like freak out. Um, it's gonna take a lot of coat, well not a lot, it's gonna take three coats to totally Totally, um, cover up the frame and make it look like super perfect so this is just the first coat and it's just me painting that on <laughs> So this is what the first coat looks like when it's wet and then when it dries it's going to look like this and it took about 45 minutes for it to dry and it's really important to let the first coat really dry and sit before you apply the second coat or else it's just going to take forever to dry. So first coat was totally and completely dry and now I'm just applying the second coat same way I applied the first, um, really nothing special. Here is the second coat wet and it looks pretty good and now here is the second coat when it's dry. So this is completely dry and it took about 45 minutes as well. So now I'm doing the third and final coat and everything is just going to look so nice and even once it's done. This is what the third coat looks like when it's still wet and then once it dries it's going to look like this. It's just super smooth, even, and it just looks really nice. So now I'm just going to take my frame out and I'm going to place my chalkboard back into the frame and really make sure that the frame or the chalkboard is super dry. It has to be completely dry or it's going to just mess everything that you did up. Now I'm just taking all that stuff that was in the frame to begin with, I'm putting all that back in just so that the chalkboard is nicely packed and I know it's not going to move. Here is the chalkboard half finished. You can stop here if you'd like, but I wanted to fancy up my chalkboard a little bit. I got my glue out and I got my pearls out and I decided to place or glue the pearls um, around the whole inner surface of the frame so that it's just not a regular chalkboard. It's just really cute and fancy and it doesn't even look like it's homemade. So that's just what I did and it's a really long process so make sure you're listening to some music. But here's the finished chalkboard. I think it's so cute and fancy and so classy. It's really nice. So I'm writing down my test date here. That way I know that I need to study and that's pretty much what that looks like and I'm going to be putting it up right on top of my computer so that I'm staring at it all the time and that's pretty much it for this DIY. I hope you guys really enjoyed it and I hope you guys try this out at home. If you do, definitely um, send me a picture on Instagram, YouTube, whatever you like. Thanks guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!